Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Houston. The Hammerheads have some big things to do today, but uh, pretty much the two things that I have on my checklist for today's episode are one, put Elliot Moose is on the loose in the top six. I hope that works out and it helps him grow. And on top of that, get Jack Campbell. So yeah, if we get Jack Campbell, then we can certainly trade one of our other goalies. And Jack Campbell's 87 overall. He's only 30, which isn't, you know, crazy old. And that contract is pretty good. A lot of people are saying you got to get him. So I agree. Let's get him. Now, the real question is how much do I have to offer him? There's only one other team interested. But, oh, man. So do you think that'll be enough? Or should I go six flat? Or is that too much? Hmm. The other team interested is Ottawa. How much are they offering him? Okay. Uh, I'm going to try 5.9. I'm going to try 5.9. Please. All right, and you can't sim a day from there, it doesn't look like. I thought you used to be able to, but anyway, advanced day. He's not going to sign. Nope. And, oh, wait, what? Oh, really? I'm pretty sure both of the coaches just said no. Well, can we at least get Jack Campbell? There we go. We did get him. Cool. So we got Jackery Boy. Vincent Trocek and a third for Ekholm and a second. How old is Vinny? Is he like 29 maybe? Something along those lines? 28. He's 86 overall. He did pretty good last year. Two-way forward, center. 87 face-offs. Man, that guy can win draws. And then Ekholm, 85 overall. Hmm. But is it worth moving for a second? Uh, hmm. That's actually really tough. How far off? That's not that far off. They might actually just do it one for one. Which I would do, I think. I think that's worth it. He, Yeah, Ekholm's 32. They probably won't, but let's try it. Oh! Alright. <laughs> okay. Sure. Well, there we go. Nice. We didn't have to move down a pick. And we just picked up Vinny Trocek. That's one trade that, for the first time, I actually looked at and... Decided that, you know what? Sure, you are allowed to send trades. I will allow it this time. Okay, well, let's sit up to the next year. Cody Eakin, no, I'm not really interested in that. If I'm gonna, okay, here we go. It's all these again. All right, enough, enough. Time to get rid of all of this. And I uh, surplus, there you go. And then for draft picks, or sorry, wants, I wanna get rid of all this. So these guys can trade draft picks to me for other draft picks. If they really feel that's necessary. But they won't. So we're not going to get any trades. Yeah. That's that's very solid. We got Trocek now. Replacing Ekholm. And we have on top of that. A new goalie. A very good goalie in fact. So I'm going to try. Perform. Oh okay yeah. So let's finish for now. I think we should try to find. A player. With the goalie. That we're going to be trading. So if we go to our goaltenders. We have $6 million of cap which is good. I do like to have a bit of padding there. In case anything comes up. So Dreger is the other goalie. Does anyone want him? Okay so there are teams that want him. But for the most part it looks like their block consists of draft picks. Alright well Marcus Foligno. Marcus Foligno. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Skaters matching the block. That's, uh, yeah, he's, his value is too high for sure. But at least we know that something like that could be done. Is there a way? I think there's like a find trade option, right? Somewhere in the settings, find trade. And then if I go to goalies, I could put Dreger in there and find trade. And we get, no, I'm good on that. And if I go, oh, that's the only trade I can get apparently. Yeah, that's the only one. Okay, so let's decline that. Anyway, moving on. Okay, well, let's go into edit lines here. Options. We want to go to the roster moves, and we are going to bring Boss up. He's going to get his shot in the NHL. Where is Boss? Oh, he's down here a bit. Yep. Boss, you're coming up to the show, if you will. NHL, and actually, let's just go to uh, best AHL lines for now, I suppose. But I want to check the, what's it called? NHL to see if there's any scratch players. So NHL, and if we go scratched, Yoki Haru, Boss, and Hagel. All right. Okay. 
I kind of feel bad for this guy. He's got low bottom six, though, so you know what? That's a, he's not really going to grow too much more, I don't think. Let's do preferred lines. All righty. So they actually want boss on the third line, but I'm going to move him up one. So there we go. And we can see that... Oh, Dubois fits that line perfectly. And then we need the... So, like, how do I check that? Carry dump bias. This is still kind of confusing for me. I'm trying to figure it out, I swear. I'm really trying, but I just don't get it. He doesn't have compatibility because... Ah, I see. I see, I see. Now I get it. So, he prefers to carry, and the coach prefers it as balanced. Oh, but that's line one. On line two... Oh, same thing, yeah. Okay. So, he actually... Fits perfectly on the fourth line, <laughs> but obviously he is not going down there. So, boss is not really fitting the current scheme. Actually, do we even have a coach right now? I'm pretty sure that that coach just said no, right? Coaching staff, or was that the AHL coach? Might have been the AHL. Yeah, okay, we have an NHL head coach, and we have an AHL head coach. Then what the heck what was that all about? Did I hire this co guy? Is this the guy I hired? Maybe. Let's go to the team fit. This is definitely not the guy, so no. Uh-uh. You're gone. You are gone, Jackie Moon. Get out of here. All right. Let's hire a coach. I kind of thought so. You currently do not have the correct amount of coach slots filled in your team. Please fill. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to hire a coach. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, I'll promote you for now, I guess. NHL. Ah! Okay, you're going back down, and then you're going to be the interim head coach. There you go. Now can I hire a coach? Thank you. That was absolutely unnecessary. NHL head coach. There's three. Mm-hmm. And Co is one of them. Awesome. Love that for me. 70. Oh. Okay, 64 is the best one there. But, man, what happened to all the coaches? Okay, you know what? What if we go to associate coach? Give someone a, a big shot here. And... Still not really, honestly. Got a 68% fit. What about assistant coaches? Okay, okay. There's a few there. And if we go to the team fit, can we get like a 70-something? Not really. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Nope, 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 nope. Holy crap, there's a lot of assistant coaches. Okay, still, at the end of the day, the answer is a big fat nope. I think I saw... Like, 68%, though. That guy likes veterans. I don't think we have a whole ton of those. Well, maybe we have a few, but... Is 68 the best I've seen? I'm pretty sure that this guy is the best I've seen so far. Sergachev likes him a lot. But, hmm. Boss does not. <laughs> boss is not a fan. Boss doesn't really like any of these guys. What kind of... I guess Boss is maybe, like, oh, balanced, and this guy seems to work with him. Here's another 68% in balance. I'm guessing the other one was also balanced. Yeah. All right. Is there a 68 anywhere else? Okay, 68 and probably balanced again. Come on. Give me a different type of coach with 68. I don't even know if that makes a difference. I'm kind of just winging it here. But, man, I wish we got that other guy. That is very disappointing. 68 balanced. 68 balanced. I guess maybe our team is just suited to be balanced. That's probably what it is with the current roster. Okay, well, hmm, what should we do? What should we do? If we go back to the head coach, is there anyone here? Generalist, 57, 64 is not bad. Huh. Should I hire this guy, like, temporarily? I'm kind of, I'm thinking about it. 64, that's not that good, though. I don't know what to do. I'm actually a little bit I'm a little bit lost right now. I thought there was going to be more head coaches. What about an AHL head coach? You want to... Sheldon Keefe did that, did he not? I think he did something similar. And... Mm, 66 is the best. Okay. I'm just going to try to hire that other guy for now. And worst case scenario, worst case Ontario, we just fire him and hire another one. Is there anyone that's going to have like a 70 at all here? Or no? I'm kind of thinking that the answer to that... Is a nope. Yeah. Not really going to happen. All right. Well, I'm just going to go for that other guy then. I'm pretty sure he said he'll get back to me today. So let's just advance. Oh, never mind. There he is. I'm going to reject your offer. Not offered as many years as you're looking for. All right. So we're picky now. I see how it is. Hmm. 
Well, if I go to the coaching staff again, and I go to hire coach, and I find him once more. He's probably right there. I just don't know his name. Okay, yeah, it was him. Bembridge. Yeah, this is the guy. Well, let's try it again. I'll just give you exactly what you want then. Let's let's go for it. Sure. Get back to me in a few days. I see you. I see how it is. Um, let's go ahead and advance a day. Boom. There he is. So I gladly accept. All right. Cool. If I go back to the coaching staff now, I want to, like, can I trade for coaches? <laughs> That'd be cool. All right. So, yeah. It automatically did that for me. So he's the head coach now. He's a B overall. And he's happy. 64% <laughs> team fit. Not super ideal, but we could make moves to have that updated. Let's edit the lines again. And on top of that, let me go to the scratch players. So Hagel, Max Jones, and Yoki Haru are all getting sent down. And if we go to the uh, yeah defense. Okay. Oh, my word. That is nice. That's beautiful. Okay. So... Hagel Jones and Yoki Haru are headed down. Options. And, well, is there a way to check scheme fit for these guys at all? Um, he fits the fourth line. He fits it all. Max Jones is there for everything. He's going to be good for every single line of the coach. And Yoki Haru is good on the first. Okay, so maybe we can find a way to slot Max Jones in the lineup then. So let's, for now, send down Hagel and Yoki Haru. Let me, you know, let me just like check some stuff, and then I'll get back to you guys. How's that sound? All right, I'll see you in a minute. We definitely have to do something about our goaltender situation because we have an 83 overall Di Pietro, who is 23 years old, playing in the AHL. Okay, he's 23. How about... No, I'm getting Dredger out of here. He's got to go. Vladar... Oh, and yes. All right. He's 25, and he's 83 overall. He is a backup goalie, medium starter, so I almost feel like we should start Di Pietro up here instead. I feel like Di Pietro is the better fit because he's younger, same overall, and then maybe we could also get rid of Vladar. So if we go to roster moves again, oh man, this is tough. In the system and goalies. I'm thinking, not you, Di Pietro, you're coming up. Hopefully he performs, and if we go to the NHL... I'm going to send Vladar down. Uh, oh, never mind. It says he has to go through waivers. Like, if I finish that. Oh, no. It says no waivers. Okay, so we're fine there. Yep. All right. So, if we go back to edit lines now. Edit NHL lines. We can toss. Um, yeah, this is what we have so far. The first line. I'm going to try to figure out how we can basically get the boss line fit improved but again i'm not fully sure how to do that so at least our defense are gassed and then in net we need to put in di pietro and try to trade dreger yeah vladar can stay in the hl for now i'm assuming if i go to goalies here i'm gonna have to fix that as well vladar substitute all right i'm sorry but di pietro just kind of popped out of nowhere and he's doing unreal i had to do it okay if we check out the AHL, it's all zeros. Pretty much defense sucks, but I'm not super concerned. We're not really trying to grow any super prospects right now anyway. So I'm not that, you know, worried about trying to get that working. But I do for sure want to patch up the NHL a little bit. McLeod, he's 24, and so is Frederick. We've got a medium top nine fourth line forward and a medium top six fourth line forward. I'm going to make that move. All right. Frederick can be on the fourth line because the chemistry stays about the same. So, now the question becomes, what can we do to make this first line better for Boss? Like, I don't know what we are supposed to look at here. He fits the first line coach chemistry there. But, I guess... Oh, he fits the, um, the coach. But the scheme fit for line one is pretty low. That is the problem. Okay, I... I'm slowly learning, as you guys can tell. I'm still trying to pick it up, but there's a lot of things to learn. So at least we have some abilities here and an X Factor and abilities for boss. And then we have Dubois over here, who I might actually be getting rid of, because I don't really want Sniper... Yeah, we should try to get, like, a, a left-wing playmaker almost instead of Dubois. 
Two way forward, two way forward, two way forward. But it works apparently. They're plus one. We don't really have we don't have a sniper on this team. We literally do not have a sniper on this team. So maybe we should try to get a sniper instead of a playmaker for Dubois. Because Hurdle is a Oh, he's a sniper. Never mind. He is a sniper. So yeah, a playmaker would be best if we could get like a a left wing playmaker for the first line that somehow makes these guys happy. I'm not exactly sure how to check that though. So again, we need you guys help with that because, oh, he has some abilities, good for you. Genther, I'm not really sure how to check the, the scheme fitter. Do you need the scouts for that, I guess? That's probably where the scouts come in handy. So you'd have to assign them somehow, but I have no idea how to do that really. I mean, we are in the new year now, so maybe if I go to the staff, and then I go to the scouts, go over one, change region. Is that like assigning them? Because I don't really want to change their region per se. I mean, he is very good at what he is currently doing. No, I'm pretty sure that's why he's there. A plus in the region. Yeah. So is there anyone that's like low for their region? We have a B. That is the worst. So I could maybe change you around. What region are you pretty good in? Not bad in Europe. Pretty good in Nordic, but yeah, I don't really know. Let's maybe change this guy to Europe for now and see how that goes. So let's change region to Europe. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we have to be even more specific. Okay, region accuracy. We can put him here. Yeah, there you go. Confirm. You are now scouting there and you now have an A plus in that region. Congrats. Good stuff. Oh, wait, we have to send all the scouts traveling. I see. Okay, is there a way to, like, auto-assign this so we don't have to do this? I mean, I'm going to do it now anyway. I'll skip all the boring stuff for you guys and kind of just go do it. But, yeah, if there's a way to have this sort of auto-done, then please let me know. Oh, never mind. It doesn't really work how I thought it did. So I take that back. You don't really have to assign any of them. I think they just kind of do their thing. And then they have, like, the region familiarity, so... You can change if you wanted to, but it doesn't really, you know, send them to that region. Like, they're not traveling. I think the only reason this guy was traveling is because he was Liga and we sent him to go to the DEL. So, this guy is already doing extra Liga. So, I'm assuming if we try to send him there, it's not really going to do a whole lot. If we go up to Nordic and he is an A-plus here. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it'll take your scout five hours to travel to this region. Cool. All right, well, he's on the move. He's headed to Liga as well. Well, I guess not as well, but he's on the road as well. Interesting. So, like, what if we? What happens with this guy then? If I try to send him to the OHL, what happens? You can go to... Oh, I can send him to the NHL too. CHL. And if I go OHL, yeah, it doesn't let me do anything. It's like that that is his current region. So I don't know. I guess it's only if you're changing their region or something. Interesting. Anyway, you guys have to let me know what to do with the scouts because I genuinely have no clue. All right, guys. So what I am basically looking for from you is to find out how I can even see who would be a good fit for this first line with these guys. That's basically what I would enjoy <laughs> hearing from you guys because I have no idea... And I just think that you guys probably have some more expertise in this mode than I do. So, yeah, let me know. We need to get rid of Dreger. Let me know about Vladar as well. We could make Ian Scott the starter, who we kind of took a gamble on. So let me know about that. I did fix up the AHL coaching a bit, so we sort of have that working now, which is nice. Uh, this last line I'm not really concerned about all that much. So they can... Stay at minus one. It is the AHL. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, you know what, Chris Terry? You're playing on the last line AHL. Sorry, dude. But there we have it. All right. So that's our team right now, our current situation. I will simulate up to the regular season. So the preseason so far has been going pretty good. McLeod has been lighting the lamp. Good stuff. That is a very good start to your Hammerhead's career. And that's, that's about it. So... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out also with the coaching staff, the AHL coach, how can I hire a new AHL head coach? Like, do I have to hire him as the assistant coach and then promote him and demote this guy? Because you literally cannot 
do anything. Like you have to, and there's no interim option for AHL head coach. That seems kind of broken to me. The whole system is kind of confusing in my opinion, but yeah, let me know. Like if I just hire an AHL head coach, will it just work? Is that like how it, how it goes down or I'm not really sure. So I'm going to, let's just try to hire this guy and see what happens actually. Sure. Why not? AHL head coach. That's your role. He's going to be like, oh, this role's already filled. Yeah. Well, there's nothing I can do about that, sir. Sorry. And if we go back and we do advanced day. Okay. Sure. We won our first game. That's awesome. And okay. He's, he's not getting back to us. I don't feel like that. Oh, you absolute. What a guy. Okay. Anyway, guys, be sure to let me know what we should do. And our locker room chemistry is 79%. That's pretty good. I just saw though that our coaching staff only has 56 chemistry. What is up with that? All right, we need to clearly do something there. There's so many different features in this game, and I have a lot of learning to do. But yeah, if we do future GM modes, at least this is the one where I should be doing a lot of the learning, and then after that, we should be good to go. But we got Campbell. Boss is on our first line right now, and that was today's objective. So we're good. The coaching staff morale is still happy. Maybe that staff chemistry can actually go up. Who knows? You guys are also going to have... Just give me an essay. I don't care. Whatever you got to do, try to give me as much tips as possible. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.